We're going to get started this afternoon with a talk uh, from Gabriel Zada. Gabriel Zada is our neurosurgeon here. He's taken over, as you heard earlier from Dr. Weiss, and really um, we both have uh, benefited and inherited a, a very um, strong and robust, robust program with a great history here. Um, uh, Gab has had the fortune of uh, being trained here at USC with Dr. Weiss. He's gone on to do uh, specialized training in pituitary surgery with Ed Laws. Uh, he's done time in uh, Don Tan. It sounds like a jail sentence. Um, uh, <laughs> uh, but he was uh, in, in Italy working with surgeons there uh, who are high volume, uh, Dr. Coba Bianco, um, and then came back and, and really has uh, been doing uh, a lot of neurosurgery here with us, um, not only pituitary surgeries, but other things too. Um, so he's going to be talking to us about the endoscopical surgical management of pituitary tumors and going through the techniques and outcomes here at LA. Thank you, John. <clears throat> okay, well, I hope lunch was okay and you're um, obviously all postprandial. Um, so I'll, we had to turn the lights down a little so you could see some of the video. So if you take a nap, that's okay. I have uh, no disclosures to report. So um, we're going to talk a little about the, the treatment goals and indications uh, for the surgical intervention of the subtypes of pituitary adenomas and to um, barely touch on some of the post-operative management and remission criteria once surgery is performed and understand the, the benefits and the role of endoscopic surgery, which has really taken a prominent role in the last uh, decade or so for pituitary tumors um, and what some of the benefits may be. So. Um, we, you've heard a lot about the cellar region. We had a great neuroradiology talk. I, I really love this area of the brain. I, I love neuroanatomy in general, but this is such a small area um, in terms of volume. It's only a couple cubic centimeters, but contained in it are just so many important structures. It's kind of a confluence of different systems that come together. You obviously have your pituitary gland in stock, right above it the hypothalamus, your cavernous sinuses with all the cranial nerves and the carotid arteries the optic apparatus and visual pathways, the, the third ventricle, and then all the branches of the circle of Willis and all within this little area. So it's kind of like boardwalk or park place in terms of high priced real estate. It doesn't take much in this area to really make things uh, uh, go askew. And not only that, you know, you, you think we see pituitary tumor after pituitary tumor, but we see a ton of other things as you, as you heard of already. It's not just all tumors. And even within tumors, there's a multitude of subtypes that um, we have to always keep in the back of our mind when we're approaching patients in terms of a differential diagnosis. Some are surgical, some are not. Some are inflammatory, some are infectious. This video I'm showing was a case we just did a week and a half ago. This is my chief.